Hello everyone. It is the last day of 2021 and as you know, I own around 80 plants. So today I thought I would show you my top five favorites for this year. This is ranked, so number one is my absolute favorite. So let's just start with number five. It is actually right here. This is my Syngonium Neon Robusta or the Pink Syngonium or the Neon Syngonium. It goes by many names, but basically this is it. This beautiful pink Syngonium leaves. And I have recently repotted it and now it's on this pole. So it's going to climb up, I hope. Uh, it looks so good and I have to put it on number five because it's just amazing that all the leaves are so pink and I don't know it just gives me something special it's here uh, in my on my table here so I can look at it a lot and it's just beautiful okay let's move on number four this is my epipremnum aureum elbow as I call it because it has this beautiful white variegation there is a lot of this plant on my channel because it is just something special to me um this is how it looked like one year ago or i'm gonna put on the screen how much time ago and this is it now and not just this because i have quite a few cuttings of this everywhere else so basically i'm gonna show you how it looks like on its regular spot hanging but on the table this is how it looks Uh, we have four cuttings here around this pole that I hope they will grow on and mature. Uh, we have this long vine here that is from original vine and it's just growing a ton. It has a, a ton of leaves and it's starting sprouting out of this vine again. So that is just going to be amazing when the leaves start actually attaching on the plant. And uh, yeah, so that's that's really nice. So what is number three, you might ask? Well, that would be my terrarium. So you probably are not gonna like me because I say that, but uh, you know, this is not one plant. This is this whole thing. It's number three because it just has this white fusion. Let's just say this is the plant I would put as number three. So it has white fusion. It has Stramanti Triostar. It has this Anthe Oh uh, Yeah, this is Calathea. And it's just really full. I might give you a tour of this at some point because it has changed a lot since I made it. But basically right now it's just giving me so much joy. The, the fact that this white fusion is growing so beautifully in this terrarium is just amazing. And I think this, this is why it is number three. Are you ready for number two? Okay, I'm going to show it to you. Alocasia Dragon Scale. You know this plant already because I talked about it <laughs> and I made a video about it. But I just have to show it to you again because these leaves are just amazing. Like, how, how cool is that? Also, the bottoms of the leaves. Like, let me just... Yeah, I'm going to put the photo here. But the, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. Okay, okay. Are you ready for number one favorite plant of this year? Okay, let's let's go. This is Calathea ornata. Now you probably, if you watched my um, plant haul 2021, you would know that I said a lot of nice things about this plant. And yes, it is my favorite at the moment. That can change. But right now, just these leaves, beautiful dark leaves with... This pink veining is just amazing for me. Oh yeah, that's not veining. Those are just stripes. Undersides are just burgundy purple. You're not even able to see that, I think. Uh, just, it's a beautiful plant. And since I have it, it has like opened a lot. So now it's like more bushy. It's also giving me a new leaf right here. I hope you can uh, zoom in. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, there it is. The new leaf is right here. I can't wait for that to unfurl, but yeah, it's amazing. Amazing. So that concludes my list for five favorite plants 2021. And uh, this can change, of course, because I can get 
new plants <laughs> and we will talk about that next week i hope you saw some nice plants today i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys pretty soon Bye bye